This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Microsoft reported it earned $4.7 billion in profit on revenue of $20.5 billion for its last fiscal quarter. Shares of Microsoft rose 6% on the news. Revenue generated by Microsoft phones was down 72%. But revenue generated by Microsoft's line of Surface computers was up 38%. The company will hold a hardware event on Wednesday, October 26th. Microsoft is expected to show off a new Surface device, perhaps a new all-in-one PC. On Thursday, October 27th, Apple will hold its own event. The company sent out invites with the phrase hello again with an Apple logo above it. Apple is expected to introduce new MacBooks with a new OLED touchscreen panel above the keyboard, which should replace the function key row. Some of the MacBooks on sale today date back to designs from 2012. A refresh is long overdue. Nintendo introduced its next video game venture. It's called the Nintendo Switch. The device itself is a mix of console and portable. To play games on your TV, a tablet is placed in a dock. That dock is attached to your TV. Gameplay is done using a wireless controller. To play games on the go, the tablet is undocked and two controller modules are attached to the tablet's sides. It's an intriguing design and we'll see if it pays off for Nintendo when the Nintendo Switch launches in March 2017. Also, the Google Pixel phone is now available in Verizon stores in the US. However, due to demand, stores will not have the 128 gigabyte version of the Pixel XL. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app in the Apple App Store.